This is Duke University. So right now you're seeing a six-month-old baby participating in our numerical change detection task. And in this task, the baby is looking at two different streams of dots. One stream is always showing a constant number of dots, so it's always showing 10 dots. And then the other stream is alternating between 10 and 20 dots. And so the idea is that if the baby picks up that this one stream is changing in number, then he'll spend more time looking at that stream because it's changing more and is more interesting. So babies that show a strong preference for that stream we think have a strong number sense. So if you're ready, I'm just going to close the curtain and dim the lights and we can get started. Perfect. So when the baby goes into the room, they sit in a high chair and then the parent sits next to the um, baby at all times. So then during the study, we ask that the parent um, not interact with the child and then the study takes about four minutes, so it's pretty quick. So we had the same babies come back in three years later when they were three and a half. Babies that looked more at the numerically changing stream had higher math scores in preschool. So an exciting possibility that stems from this work is looking if um, we can actually train this approximate number sense and have young children and preschool children perform games that help them manipulate approximate quantities to see if that could lead to improvements in their math achievement.